name is Jan Mattes, I'm Chief Product Manager for SAP Business by Design Analytics, and I now will show you how you can leverage analytical profiles, which allows you to easily switch your business context with the same KPIs and reports. So you all know the problems. You have various business units, and those um, have the same KPIs and uh, also shall be using the same reports. In the past, it has been always a bit cumbersome to track all those business units, like let's say your consulting business. Um, and with the analytical profiles, it is now possible to, to define your report and report uh, KPIs only once and then switch um, between those uh, business profiles to see all of your business areas at a glance. So what you see here is basically um, so two KPIs which I've been setting up, one for the net order volume, which shows my biggest accounts and the product types I've been selling to them. I see uh, a KPI which uh, reports my delivery delay in various sales areas. And if I go now into such a KPI with the analytical profiles, I will be able to easily switch the context. So let's say I'm currently here in a business profile, which is for all my business units. And now I can switch here with one click into only seeing my direct business unit. Uh, this is a definition I've been setting up uh, in an analytical profile. And now I can jump easily back and forth and you see how the numbers have been changing. And if I now do the very same for the other KPI, which I've been using here, so let's open the delivery delay KPI, then you see also here, there will be a filter for direct um, business only. And of course, I can easily jump back into my um, all business profile, which now shows then all of my business units. How did I do that? It's basically now with the analytical profiles, it's possible to define common filter criteria and to reuse them with the so-called analytical profiles. You can manage those analytical profiles in the Business Analytics Work Center. You find them here. Um, and those profiles are nothing else than a combination of lots of characteristics that you will be using for filtering your business areas. Let me open here an example. That's the direct business profile I've been setting up. And if I go into maintain profile, then you see what I've done here. I have here a couple of characteristics which will be all used in my reports. Uh, and you see it's a filtering for selected companies and for just the distribution channel one. Of course, I could be adding way more and make this way more complex. I can um, in detail really use any master data source which is available in my system to define and extend such a profile. Um, how do I now use the profile in my reports? That's very simple. You see, that is the KPI I've been using. I drill down now into uh, the report and um, the report itself has basically certain filter criteria set up. And here's basically the filter criteria for the distribution channel. And with that uh, relative selection uh, for the profile, I can now take the value for the distribution channel and retrieve it directly from the profile. That makes life extremely simple. Uh, of course, you need to use that new relative selection criteria in your selection definitions of your reports. And with that, it will also be available in your KPIs. And uh, it basically, it allows you to um, switch business context easily. So if you have, let's say, a certain set of companies uh, which you only want to look at or certain types of business, consulting business, various license business, uh, all this is now uh, possible and you don't need to set up your KPIs and report selections multiple times. I hope you like what you've seen and stay tuned for more videos. Mm -hmm.